What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sonic Sagittarius. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Midheim, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Uh, for Sana Sag for um, September of 2022. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, and thanks for all my new subscribers. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. It helps support a single mama in one of her income streams, so I very much appreciate it. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Sagittarius. First one, I heard a significant traffic, traffic stop soon. That was the first one. And the second one, I heard renter's insurance. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Sag. Now, you know, energies can be reversed, and there's 7.77 billion people in the world. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I got those two channelings for a reason. So significant traffic, traffic stop soon. That could be you getting pulled over, traffic stop, or somebody else. And renter's insurance, um... That's all I heard, renter's insurance. So maybe you need to get renter's insurance, or you have renter's insurance, or you're about to get renter's insurance, or somebody connected to you needs to get it, has it, or is about to get it. How would that resonate in applies, Sagittarius? Okay. All right, let's do it. I feel guided to do Sagittarius next. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do any of these today. I've done some signs already for the four card readings for September, but um, for some reason I felt guided to do y'all, so I'm going to do it. I might do some other signs today. Um, just uh, encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Okay, this one popped out pretty significant. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So, spirituality card. Lobster, financial pinch. Gavel, involvement with the law. This could be that significant traffic stop if for you or somebody you're connected to, possibly. We still have some uh, some days left of August, so for some of you guys, it can start resonating now, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a soft edge. A significant custody change is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. A significant custody change is about to become very significant in Sag's life. So some kind of custody change energy um, that could be you, um, your your child or children having custody change to you or from you or somebody you're connected to um, having custody change to them or from them. Or you could be, for some, I feel you might work in the legal sector for some reason. I didn't hear that. I just feel for some you could work in the legal sector. Um or the law enforcement sector, and maybe you're going to help um, with switching custody to somebody or from somebody. Um, I just intuitively feel that, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But some kind of custody sw um, switch energy soon. However, you plug into that situation, Sagittarius, if you do, okay? All right, let's pull one of these. We have oyster and unicorn, so for some you could be dealing with a water sign or earth sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts, if you are um, Sagittarius. Spirit messages you have for Sag. Sag. Transmutation.
Number 29 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 29. A significant hidden room in an office building is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. For some, there's going to be a break-in in your office building. You're going to rush you and other co-workers into this hidden room for safety. This is going to turn into a huge thing. Oh my God, Sagittarius. Holy crap a moly. Well, I hope you get everybody in there. Um, and that could be where the law is about to get involved. Um, I think somebody's going to, hopefully you have a security safety uh, law button. Um, a lot of places, business places have those. When I worked at Subway way, way, way back in the day, they had a security button, a little red button underneath the counter. You needed to call the, get the police in a, New York Minute, and press the emergency button. Please come. Um, so I don't know if you have, if I don't know who this is for. It's at least for one side out there in the universe, but and it's upcoming. It hasn't happened yet. But hopefully you have a security. If you have a hidden room, though, in your office, I'm pretty positive. If you have a hidden room in your office building, like a secret room, this is like a secret room energy, I'm pretty positive you have a red alert the police button. Um, and I'm just for real. Um, at least I hope so. But that might be where the law comes in comes involved for one of you guys. I hope you get to the button and get everybody in there. I'm just serious. Um, I heard a break in, a significant break in. A gun will be involved. Psychotic. Oh my God! I heard a gun will be involved. Psychotic. So whoever. If whether it's one person or two or two plus people about to break into your office building, Sag, I feel you work in this office building. For some, you could be a client or a customer that's going to be in this office building when this occurs. Hopefully not. I heard getting all the coworkers in the safe room. So I think whoever I'm speaking to here, I think you're a, you work in this office building. Heard psychotic and they will have a gun. So I don't know if it's a licensed gun, registered gun, or uh, unlicensed, getting it off the street gun. I'm not sure. But they will have a gun. And, I mean, obviously you guys are going to feel your life's in threat, going to be threatened. I think they're probably going to be waving this gun around and threatening folks and going cray-cray. This isn't funny. It's not funny. It's really not funny. I I'm sorry for laughing. This is terrible. But I think that's where um, this is about to come into play for whoever whichever one of you guys works in this office building and this is about to occur think hopefully you have a safe button you have a secret room in your office building so hopefully you have a safe button too um i not only uh when i i've worked many places it's not only been subway there the healthcare places corporate conglomerates i worked at they had the safe buttons too but and i've never had to use the safe button but one of you guys is about to have to use the safe button um i heard psychotic this person or people are psychotic. So they're not going to be in their correct mental facets, whoever this person or people are, and they will have a gun. I think you or somebody you're connected to is going to see this gun. This is terrible. And it's in an office building setting. Um, I think you're going to, uh, oh, I don't know. We'll see what we hear with this one. But maybe you're spiritual or maybe you become spiritual after this. I don't know. Whoa, this is giant. Please stay safe. Oyster. Tapping into this energy, buddy. We're not even 10 minutes in and we're rolling. Oyster. It is. This is about to wake a Sagittarius up in a huge way. Did not realize how mentally unstable this person is, but you're about to get a huge ass wake up call and realize it. Oh my God. I heard uh, this is about to get, okay. So one of you guys works in this office building. I keep pulling this in and that could be the transmutation too. You're about to transmute yourself or transmute the situation with the gun, psychotic gun person or people um, in this office building setting. Um, I think you're going to be in this office building setting, Saj. There's a reason I'm getting this. And you work in this office building. Whether you're the owner, 
uh, a manager boss, supervisor, or CEO, or you are <clears throat> not, and you're just a coworker, however that resonates, but or you didn't realize how mentally unstable this person was or people, but once this occurs, they're going to come in with this gun, probably waving it around. They might try to rob you. I didn't hear they're going to try to rob you, but why the hell are they coming in mentally unstable, waving around a gun? So much so the law is going to have to get involved. There's a reason. But I heard you didn't realize how mentally unstable they were, but once this occurs, you're going to realize it. Yeah, I would say so, but it's sad it comes to that. This is terrible. Oyster. A Scorpio is about to completely switch career fields. One, they are a diamond in the rough. They're good at everything they do. Okay, I heard a, um, okay, so it sounds like two Scorpios about to switch career fields. One of them, I heard they're a diamond in the rough and they're good at everything they do. So oyster energy, um, one is a diamond in the rough. Oh, both are going to about both Scorpios are about to switch career fields. If this resonates for you, you can know one of these people, two or two plus of these people. You have to plug these Scorpios in how they resonate. Mask or fem Scorpio. They're out in the workforce in some shape, form, or fashion. They're both about to switch career fields, but one I heard is a diamond in the rough. They're good at everything they do. So it sounds like they're going to be successful at whatever career field they're about to switch to. Um, so diamond in the rough, this your scorpionic energy, uh, whoever this person is to you and however they resonate, diamond in the rough, pearl in the oyster, um, star energy here, whoever this um, Scorpio is to you, the one that's good at everything. And the other one is going to switch career fields too. So definite diamond in the rough energy with this one Scorpio that's good at everything. An oyster shack is about to become very significant in a, uh, in a Sagittarius's life. And a Scorpio waiter. A Sagittarius is about to, uh, an oyster shack is about to become very significant in a uh, Sag's life and a Scorpio waiter. So maybe you know they're a Scorpio waiter or you're going to find out they're a Scorpio waiter. Maybe they tell you they're a sign. Some people like to um, publicly denote their, um, zodiac signs to people in public some don't some do um but somehow a scorpio waiter is significant at this oyster shack um so oyster shack oyster bar oyster shack energy um oyster bars are so fun and that's just the truth unicorn A date within the next two weeks is about to go left in a huge way. One of these dates is going to be very magical in a positive way. One of these dates, severe black magic is going to be used, and you're about to realize this. It's going to be terrible. Okay, so date energy within the next two weeks, if this resonates for you, Sag. Date energy within the next two weeks, but of course you have to plug yourself in where you fit, but one of these dates, definitely both dates within the next two weeks, for sure. One of them, both magic involved, like the first one, it's positive magic, like passion and I don't think sex magic. I just think like passion and mag I heard it's with magical in a positive way. So I just think you both are going to have connections, no sex magic involved, um, strong connection and it's be magical connection between you and this person in a positive light side manner. That's situation one within the next two weeks. Situation two, I heard dark arts are going to be used here. 
you're about to pick up on this and it's about to turn left in a very negative i think creepy weird way i think you're about to get invited out on this date or you're about to invite somebody out on this date how this resonates and applies for one you have been with this person for a long time but you are learning so much about this person now for one it is a new person okay so for one of you guys it's a new person so new date new date energy whether you fit in category a or a or b for one you've been with this person for a while but i think that situation too where the date's about to go left in a um weird creepy dark arts kind of way um and i heard you're learning things about your partner so many things now that basically you didn't know in the past but i think it's better that you know now you're learning now i mean that's not a good thing is what i'm saying i think that's the situation too because if it was good things, they would have told you all those things up front when you first met the person. So definitely feel that situation too. Maybe you have to call the police on this person if things things get creepy or weird or out of hand or psychotic or something. Um, I don't care if you've been with them 20 years or it's the first day. Um, but only you know what you're going to do, not anybody else. But situation two is definitely going to go left in a very negative way, whether it's first, first date with this person or you've been with this person for 50 million years whether you're legally married fiance girlfriend boyfriend or what have you what have you okay um but in this situation situation one is magical and beautiful and smart sparks flying and positive light side energy connection here situation two is dark arts magic like magic magic positive magic dark arts it sounds like backfiring we're about to backfire heard you're about to learn all kinds of well you've already learned all kinds of crazy things about this person um but it's better you know you learn them than uh you never know them and that's just the truth if that resonates for you sag a hidden voyeur camera in a bathroom is about to become very significant in sagittarius's life and the law and child protective services a hidden camera a bathroom child protective services and the law is about to become very significant in a sagittarius's life a hidden camera so a hidden voyeur camera child protective services the law and a bathroom is about to become very significant in sagittarius's life so police involvement sounds like somebody is is abusing and exploiting children in a bathroom um, because child protective services cps is child protective services so if child protective services are getting involved it involves kids and a bathroom so i think it could be you calling child protective services or police on a hidden camera in, in a bathroom abusing and exploiting kids or it could be somebody you're connected to hopefully you're not the creepy person abusing and exploiting kids in a bathroom but only you know if you're high vibrational or low vibrational I mean, I've got like almost 14,100 of you guys on here. So you have to plug the message or messages, how it resonates. But in this situation, the police about to get involved. Hopefully they remove the children and the hidden camera. Um, whoever the hell is abusing and exploiting kids in a bathroom. Um, so much so that basically child protective services and the police are about to get involved. It, I feel for some, you're about to call on this. For some, you could be the one doing this and you're about to get the police called on you. Only you know what you're doing, not anybody else. But I do feel dark web energy here for sure. Um, because why else are you putting a illegal hidden voyeur camera in a bathroom abusing and exploiting kids? Uh, probably when they go to the bathroom or take a bath, their naked bodies, um, if you're not making money off of it on some kind of dark web activity. And I'm just being serious financial pinch Appliance breakdown is about to become very significant for one.
and for one uh, income stream loss that should have never been there is about is about to become significant okay appliance breakdown is about to become significant for one of you guys's life um so that's going to put you in a financial um pinch if you don't have warranty or warranties on the uh, appliances i'm presuming um only you know if you have warranties on your appliance or appliances not anybody else or if they're covered under a home warranty or um or um insurance uh possibly you plug it in how it resonates but somehow it's going to put at least one of you guys in a financial pinch i feel for some you don't have warranties on them or you don't have they're not covered under some kind of insurance claim um and then for one some kind of income stream is about to be taken away but i heard it should have never been there to begin with um and that's going to create a financial pinch as well you plug it in how it resonates and for one credit card bills are are huge and for one credit card bills are huge and for one of you guys credit card bills are huge so you plug it in how it resonates a Sagittarius masculine is about to find out his, their partner is pregnant. Earth sign partner. A Sagittarius is about to find out their Earth sign partner is pregnant. So this could be your Earth sign partner. Um, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, a uh, female, I'm presuming. They could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. One of you guys is about to find out your Earth sign. I'm presuming female partner or has female and masculine parts is pregnant. Um, and that could be the financial pinch too. I'm going to have to save up for pregnancy and diapers and formula and what have you, what have you, if you don't get on WIC, uh, if you live in the United States. Um, really saving up for the baby. Um, how that resonates. Or saving up for all the cravings. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. A Sagittarius refused to believe in psychics in the past, but they are about to, they're about to publicly praise a, uh, praise a uh, psychic, I'm sorry. Publicly praise the psychic. On point. Regardless of religion and spirituality. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. Well, that's beautiful. So one of you guys didn't believe in psychics in the past. You didn't believe in them. You thought it was a bunch of baloney, a bunch of malarkey, that basically our gifts were not valid or real, or and you didn't you refused to believe it. Whoever that's for. I mean, that could just be for one of you guys. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But you refuse to basically accept the fact that clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, psychic medium abilities, and um, dreamscape abilities are not real, basically. Um, but whoever you are, I heard you're about to publicly praise a psychic. You're, uh, it sounds like in the past you might have made fun of this person or you denied their gifts or abilities and you refuse to acknowledge the fact that of their true gifts but it sounds like this person has read you in a positive way they have really read something about your life that has come true or or um i think something that has come true or something that yeah i think something that's come true is what i think or something that has happened in your life that has validated the fact that their gifts are real but however that resonates you're about to publicly um um validate this person and publicly praise this person when in the past i think you made fun of this person i didn't hear you did i just intuitively feel you made fun of this person there's a reason you're going to do it now publicly praise this person now in the um confirmation sirens police sirens confirmation uh, but yeah there's a reason you're about to um Publicly praise this person now is what I'm saying you didn't in the past. I strongly feel whoever this is for, you probably made fun of them and probably openly made fun of them in the past. Um, and I'm serious. So I, you're about to become a believer in the psychic realm and psychic abilities. People with true psychic abilities, not scam artists, and et cetera, et cetera. Real psychics. Um, congratulations. For some, you could become spiritual possibly or be spiritual. 
um, however that resonates. You can be spiritual and religious or just spiritual for anybody who doesn't know that. But um, there's a reason you're about to openly support this person now when you didn't in the past. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? A hung jury in the past is about to give a guilty verdict. It's about to shock the hell out of you, but you should have known this was coming. A hung jury in the past is about to deliver a guilty verdict. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you, but you should have known this was coming. So whoever this is for, you're either on the jury, maybe, maybe you're on the, well, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. No. Because I heard it's going to shock you. So no, I don't think you're on the jury. Think you might be a family of somebody involved in this court situation or on the legal team um, in this court situation, or you could work for the legal sector or the police or something, or you could just be a community member of this court situation or know somebody that knows somebody in this court situation, but some kind of hung jury energy. Um, it sounds like they're currently hung jury right now. Um, and they're about to deliver a, uh, I don't think you're on the jury in this situation. I just want to clarify that. I absolutely do not think that. I think you're connected to this court situation, but you're not on the jury. Um, definitely not on the jury. Okay, confirmation. Definitely not on the jury. Okay, confirmation. So you're definitely not on the jury if this resonates for you. Um, but you are connected to this situation. You know about it. It's some kind of home jury right now, but soon they're going to enter, uh, it sounds like enter a guilty plea. Or it's going to shock the hell out of you. The reason I didn't think you were on the jury is because I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. Well, if you were on the jury, you would have part in controlling that factor. So, um, somebody's going to go to jail, possibly. Uh, I heard guilty verdict. So, I think somebody's going to go to jail with this. Um, and I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. They might go to jail. They might go to prison. But we have law here. So, I think somebody's going to get in hand, uh, be put in handcuffs with the guilty verdict. Um, and I heard it's going to shock you. So, maybe... You have a spiritual awakening after this guilty verdict. Um, I heard it's a hung jury right now. So you plug it in how it resonates. Definite spiritual awakening. Definite spiritual awakening. Um, and for some, you could be in a financial pinch. Maybe you were helping the person in this trial. Maybe you were helping pay for legal fees or... Um, something to do with legal with this trial possibly i think for some you're strongly connected to this person that's currently um in this trial this jury trial um i think you're helping pay for legal fees is what i think or you have helped pay for legal fees and it's put you in a financial pinch is what i feel um there will be a lot of crying here there will be a lot of crying here but deep down inside, you know this person did it. You know they did. You don't want to admit it. Oh, my God. Whoa. I heard there will be a lot of crying here. There will be a lot of crying here. But deep down, you know this person did it. You just don't want to admit it. Holy shit, Sagittarius. So, yeah, I think you're helping pay for legal fees in this jury trial is exactly what I think. But whoever's on trial, and I didn't hear who was, but whoever the hell is on trial, deep down, you know they did it. You know they did it. You just don't want to admit they did. I think you're helping pay for their um, legal. This is exactly what I think. But you're about to have a spiritual awakening when it's guilty. Whoever that's for, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. Uh, so another one of you guys is getting a huge wake up call. Um, whoever that's for, I... I say my damn self. I don't know. Gavel, involvement with the law. A former lover of a Sagittarius. They they have a gay gay to pay pay to get gay to pay. Pay to I kept hearing it, but I was saying it wrong. I'm sorry. They have a gay to pay gay to pay scheme um i heard in their workplace it's about to be busted open they're about to be fired you're about to be shocked you're about to be shocked i kept hearing it but i was saying it wrong so 
one of you guys, you know somebody that has a gay to pay scheme in their workspace. Um, um, I heard it's about to be busted now. For some, you can know they're doing, they're running this gay to pay scheme in their uh, in their workplace dynamics. So I think they're hustling coworkers or manager bosses or supervisors or CEOs in their workspace um, to get them to pay for their sex. And they're obviously saying sex to them, whether it's man to man or woman to woman. But I heard it's about to be busted open. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. I think they might get arrested. Um, we have involvement with the law with that message. So I think they might get arrested. And um, I feel it's somebody in their workspace about to bust it open. Um, it's exactly what I think. Definitely somebody in their workspace. Definitely somebody in their workspace is what I heard. Confirmation. So definitely somebody in their workspace. Um, Basically, somebody, and I feel for some, you do know this person's are running this gay to pay, uh, pay to gay, gay to pay, how do you say it? Gay to pay, pay to gay, gay to pay scheme in their, in their workplace uh, dynamic, basically. I think for some, you do know it. Uh, for some, you may not. You might find this out and you might get shocked. But how this resonates, I strongly feel the law is going to get involved on them because somebody's about to turn the tables on them in their workspace. Um, I don't know if they're going to claim sexual harassment or they just expose it. I heard it's about to be busted wide open. I didn't hear anything about sexual harassment. I didn't hear anything. Um, but whoever, however this resonates, they're about to bust it wide open. I will tell you that. They're about to bust it wide open. And basically, um, this person is about to get, I heard they will get fired. They will get fired. So through many series of chain events, they will get fired. So your person that's running, it's not you, it's your person. Uh, whoever this person is to you, they're about to get fired. Um, financial pinch for them. For some, it could be a water sign or an earth sign running this gay to pay scheme in their workplace. Um, they're obviously having sex and having people pay them for sex in their workspace. And it's the same sex of them. But um, I heard they will be fired. I feel for some, they might be arrested too. And I'm just being serious. I didn't hear that, but I feel that, okay? You plug it in, how it resonates. And I think for some, it's going to give you a spiritual awakening when you find this out. For some, you could be a co-worker about to help bust this open if you know about this gay-to-pay workplace scheme dynamic. Um, you have to plug yourself in and refit. So for some, you could be the person inside the workspace about to help bust open this gay-to-pay work, um, workplace thing going on. Somebody is basically making a shit ton of money off their coworkers or their so, uh, subordinates or their manager, boss, supervisors, or CEOs or a combination of these people by having them pay them for sex. Um, it's pretty genius, but evil genius. And I'm just being serious. It's like pros it's prostitution in their workplace, but it's same sex people. Um, Somebody's about to turn the tables on them in a huge ass way. Somebody's about to turn the tables on them in a huge ass way. It's a corporate conglomerate. It's a corporate conglomerate. So they work in a corporate conglomerate and somebody's about to turn the tables on them in a huge ass way. I think somebody's about to call the police on their ass. They're about to get fired. And I think they're about to get arrested. I'm serious. But you plug it in how it resonates. A significant social worker visit soon regarding a foster child. A significant uh, social worker visit soon regarding a foster child. So, uh, I don't, for whoever this is for, I don't know if this is going to, I feel this could go positive or negative, but we have involvement with the law. So, I think for some, it's not going to go well. Or for some, you could be the social worker about to come in with a significant visit. Uh, you could be a social worker visit coming in with a significant visit um, regarding the foster child. For some, if the law gets involved, you could be the officer about to arrest somebody if there's some kind of abuse going on with the foster child. For some, you could be the parent about to get the um, call, call uh, the social worker about to come visit regarding the foster child. Now, it could be a standard visit because I used to be a child system, a foster child, for anybody doesn't know. I used to be a child system when I was a minor. I was a foster child. 
Um, for anybody who doesn't know, false, uh, foster parents get paid money each month and um, for basically raising ch children in the state. For anybody who doesn't know that. Foster children get paid money every single month for raising children in the state. And the children get free health care. Like, and that's just the truth through the state. For anybody who doesn't know that. So I feel you could be a social worker about to come in. Uh, maybe you get called or it's a standard routine visit. Or you could be the, if an arrest is involved and there's some kind of abuse or something, maybe you're an officer about to come arrest somebody. Or you could be the parent about to get called on. How that resonates, or just schedule a um, visit, ran, um, like a scheduled visit, because the, there's particular standards and policies and procedures that um, the foster pe uh, parents have to follow, and one of them is scheduled visits uh, by social workers coming out at scheduled times every time. Um, I don't know how long, if it's every three months, six months, what have you, what have you, but I do remember as a child having the social workers come out. And my crazy foster mother was running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Transmutation. A very aggressive Aquarius is about to come into your energetic space. You're about to transmute the energy in a huge way. For some, it's a masculine Aquarius. For some, it's a feminine Aquarius that takes on heavy masculine energy. For one, it's a guardian ad litem. Okay, so heavy Aquarius energy, whether it's masculine or feminine Aquarius energy. One, it's a masculine Aquarius about to do this. One, it's a femme taking on heavy um, masculine energy. And one, it's a guardian ad litem. Uh, a guardian ad litem is basically a child's attorney for anybody who doesn't know. Now, that could be the masculine Aquarius guardian ad litem or a femme that takes on heavy masculine Aquarius guardian ad litem. But heavy guardian ad litem energy, child attorney energy, and heavy Aquarius energy, whether they're masculine or feminine, that takes on heavy masculine. But um, they're they're about to come in very aggressively towards you. Um, whoever you are and how this applies, Sagittarius, I heard you're about to transmute the energy on them. So however you're about to transmute the energy, for anybody who doesn't know, transmutation energy is basically take, turning it around on them and like not letting it get you worked up and riled up and he whoa, going all crazy, transmuting it basically. I feel for some, you could call the law on them. We have the law. Um, for some, you, um, for some, maybe you just won't feed into, maybe they're going to try to get you worked up or, uh, or something like that. They're about to come in very aggressive, um, very aggressive. So however you transmute the energy, I should say, okay. Um, I feel for some, it could be a phone call. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel for some, it could be a phone call that you're going to make, but only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? A skilled nursing facility resident is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. A skilled nursing facility resident is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. So a skilled nursing facility resident, who um, I feel for some you could work at a skilled nursing facility, or you could, uh, I feel for some you could work at a skilled nursing facility, or you could be a patient's family that visits this skilled nursing facility, um, and you're a family member of this, uh, of the resident, um, or you could be an employee or a family member or or a friend, maybe your friend that calls in and sees how they do at the skilled nursing facility, how that resonates. But somehow skilled nursing 
resident is about to become very significant in your life. So if this resident message resonates for you, you don't, you're not a resident of the skilled nursing facility. You, the skilled nursing resident is about to become significant in your life. So for some, you can be an employee of the uh, skilled nursing facility. You could be a uh, family member of the uh, skilled nursing resident or a friend. How that resonates, okay? And a playlist is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. And a resume. And a playlist and a resume is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. So some kind of playlist energy and um, a playlist and a, um, a resume. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, we're done. I hope this helped and namaste.